Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and Twitter Manas and guys today we're gonna be talking about a very important conic section, hyperbola. So let's see what problem number one has in store for us. Here we go. A point P is 30 mm and 50 mm respectively from two straight lines which are at right angles to each other. Draw a rectangular hyperbola from P within 10 mm distance from each line. Alright, so we have two straight lines at an angle of uh, say 90 degrees with each other. And there is this point P whose location with respect to these two lines has been given to us. Alright, so let's see. So let's have two straight lines, okay, at an angle of 90 degree, right angles. And there you have point P. Alright. So this distance is 30 and this over here is 50. You can locate that pretty well. Or one easy trick to do this is go 50 steps along this direction and then 30 steps or 30 millimeters to the, to the right. And then you're gonna have this point P through which we have to draw a hyperbola. All right, so let's have the dimensions. Here we go. Now in the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place points. Okay, towards the right of point P, one centimeter apart, or you can also say 10 millimeters apart, like this. Okay, this way, this way. So I've as many as one, two, three, four, five, six points along this direction towards the right of P. And above P, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four. So there are as many as 10 points, all right? Six over here and four above this. Now, in the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join all these points all these points along this horizontal as well as this vertical with this point O, something like this. All right, please watch this carefully. And over here. All right, all right. Now you need to keep, you need to make sure that your mini drafter is absolutely set in the horizontal vertical direction. And then the first line that we drew was this one, okay, when we joined with this point and eventually it intersected this vertical line somewhere here. What you need to do is you need to pick up each and every line okay at once and then you have to draw a line from over here let me show you how that can be done a horizontal from here and a vertical from here then for this line i'm going to talk about a horizontal from here and a vertical from here let us follow the same pattern for the next points also a horizontal from this intersection point and a vertical in the downward direction a horizontal again and a vertical downward a horizontal again and a vertical downward keep on doing this and you can have as many as six points on this hyperbola, okay, in the form of P1, P2, up till P6. Now, uh, the hyperbola which is gonna be made over the, this side or the left-hand side of this vertical line, okay, for that, what needs to be done is you have to travel horizontally, but towards the left-hand side, this way, and then vertically in the upper direction, all right? Then horizontally towards the left, vertically in the upper direction, horizontally towards the left, vertically upwards, horizontally leftwards, and vertically upwards. There you have it, as many as 10 points from P1 to P6 over here, and from P7 to P10. And when you join all these points in proper sequence, you're gonna have a very popular curve, which is known as a rectangular hyperbola. So there you have it. So guys, that was all from my side for today. And if you have any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comments section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. I'll be taking up some more problems based on hyperbola in the upcoming videos so stay tuned subscribe to my channel so that you get informed you get updated whenever i upload a new video so guys that was all for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing